Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the nmap in Kali Linux. So I have installed the Kali Linux and you can check my previous video to know how to install the Kali Linux in your system. So let's go directly to the terminal. So to first check what is the version of your Kali Linux you just need to type nmap iPhone V. This is a capital V. So if you see here it was 6.47 version. And if you need to check the help menu, you just need to type nmap iPhone H. Just hit the enter. And you can see you can see a list of switches and the commands which you can use in your Kali Linux with the help of the nmap command and you can also type simply nmap to get the help or you can use the man page here to go to the browser I'll just open it in my browser If you see here, you can see a detailed Yeah, you can see a detailed view of nmap commands So, let's see some tutorial So, I'll open another window So this is the command which I am going to show you now. First, let's check what are the hosts which are connected to this network. Yeah, I have got one and the next one is 3 yeah ok then I will just end map for 2.2.3 I'll just check it since I am using VirtualBox you can't usually connect to the another system so what I am going to do is I am just going to scan for Watch. So just keep it ready. Just need to wait since we are I'm just going to scan this website for the open ports. So, put a simultaneous scan to another network. Two dot fifteen. We see here that scan all the ports in this host and this host is nothing but this is the colony which I have installed they have closed all the ports in your OS and here yeah you got it there are three ports opened in this website one is 22 SSH HTTP 80 and NPing Echo Double nine two nine. These are the three ports opened in this website. 
right now let's check for some more like scanning network so in order to scan a network you just need to use one two just need to mention the range I have just mentioned from 1 to 20 so I have started the scan and you can also mention dot hash to scan all the ports from 1 to 255 just hit enter to start it so it will take some time since it needs to scan all the posts in the port so next time I'll use the fast scan So just scanning all the posts in this IP range. Yeah, it's taking some time to scan all the posts in the IP range. So let's go to the next command. So these are the three commands which you can use to check the firewall. And the first command, yes, N is used to fool the firewall. And the next one is used for checking the firewall. And this one also is used for checking the firewall. So here you can see it. It was used for the TCP null and the fin and for XMAS scans. For this purpose, you can use these switches. You can also use a switch called O to enable the OS detection. For example, for trying to scan an O, that is the capital O, you need to use capital O here. I initiated one scan here. You need to be patient because since it needs to scan all the port numbers in all the hosts which you have mentioned, it will actually check for all the port numbers. So you need to be patient first. And here you got the detail. If you see here, you have got a full detail about it. That is the Microsoft site. You have got the details here you can just check it for uh, another websites also let's go for some other thing so using this help menu you can also check for See here, you can also run these commands to check. So 
only three exams have been given. You can just run it and you can check it. So it is getting executed. See. Okay, let's see some other command will it get the executor. So let's go for this one. As you should was scanning the UDP port, it shows as it was down. So let's check for another. Let's check for online. I tried to use the yep here uh, go hot so we see here there is no UDP port which has opened in Microsoft platform so you can just close this and just show you how to use fast scan So we did mention iPhone F to fast scan. So if you see here there are 99 filtered ports which is available. Let us scan and check for this port that is port number 80 is open in scanminute and map data website. So this is how you will use the fast scan. So if you see it was taking too much time to scan this IP address. Run another command and check. Just You see here two protocols has been happened that is the it was used for checking the open protocols in the host which I have mentioned two protocols are in open state one is TCP and the another one is ICMP Can just check these three commands.
so we have got the results for checking the firewall it says that closed so let's run another one So it two says it was closed. So let's run another one. The X mass. Two says it was closed. So this is how you will just use the nmap command to scan the ports and the IP addresses. You can also list all the IP addresses in your network using the nmap command. So these two commands are getting yeah, one command has finally finished here. Let's scroll up. Yeah, if you see here, Pura 2 is having these commands. That is this protocol, so I'm open. In 2.3, these protocols are open. And 2.4, and these protocols are open. So this is how you will use the genmap command to scan an IP range or your network range. And you need to be patient because it will scan all the ports uh, throughout your network and it may also bring down your network since it was scanning all the ports and you need to be cautious in this. Since this command was not executed fully and it was not showing any results it was in a pending stage so let's wait and see and try to use fast So I'm just going to use fast scan in this range of network. It shows that 20 IP addresses in 20 IP addresses one was in up condition that is the host which I am using it was an up condition and it was not scanned for any other details here since I have used fast it shows only one post is up condition and it was not scanned for any other ports here so this is how you will use to scan for whole range of IP addresses and it will take some time to execute. I think you have end of knowledge in Yan map by seeing those commands. If you like my tutorial, just subscribe to my videos in YouTube. And you can also visit my website for more and more videos and more and more technological news. And thanks for watching the video. Bye bye.